Okay, hello everyone. So today I am going to make another video about motion graphs. So in the previous video, I actually tackled motion graphs wherein you're given a velocity time graph and you're asked to transform that graph into position time and acceleration time graphs. However, this time around, we're going to reverse it a little bit. How are we going to do that? What if you're given the description of motion but you're not given a graph and you have to come up with the graphs on your own? Okay, so let's try it out. So this is a uh, chronicle of the motion experienced by a car. So let me just read. So from 0 to 15 seconds, the car accelerates uniformly from 0 to 9 meters per second. And I think this is where I will display a bit of some uh, techniques in problem solving. Always um, encircle or underline important details, especially numbers. Okay, accelerates uniformly. So from 15 to 25, the car sustains a maximum velocity of 9 meters per second with zero acceleration. So sustain velocity at 9. Keeps it there. 25 to 55, the, the traffic slows down the car uniformly to 6. Okay, So the traffic slows down the car uniformly to 6 meters per second. And finally, from 55 to 65 seconds, a traffic light forces the driver to step on the brakes and the velocity uniformly drops to zero. So if you could imagine they're moving very slowly and all of a sudden the car up front stops, so the driver is forced to stop after 10 seconds. Okay, so how are we going to create a proper motion graph out of this? Well, the first thing that you have to do would be to determine what motion graph you have to do first. Okay, and as you could see, you are given seconds, okay? So that's a standard in any motion graph. But what quantity are you given in the descriptors? Well, 0 to 9 meters per second, 6 meters per second, 0 meters per second. Most likely, you'll have to deal with velocity first. And then, the plan of action would be to transform that into the other graphs. Okay, so let's start with a velocity time graph. So we see here that there are four segments that we're going to have to analyze. And that's because there are four cases of motion on display here. Okay, so let me just make divisions in my graph. 0 to 15, so let's say 15 seconds, first 15 seconds. Okay, and it says here 15 to 25, so 10 seconds later. This is my second one. 25 to 55, so that's a really long uh, time frame, so I'll just uh, reflect that in the graph. And finally, 55 to 65, so something about, around like that. Okay, so those are my four segments. Let me just uh, draw the lines just to uh, further divide these segments. So the car accelerates uniformly from 0 to 9 meters per second. Okay, so in this case, we are already told that we're going to go up to 9 meters per second. Okay, and we start at 0 according to this okay so what are we going to do we're going to move from 0 to 9 and because it accelerates uniformly from 0 to 9 meters per second I'll just simply draw a line that connects them and that line is perfectly straight not curved okay so segment B 15 to 25, the car sustains the maximum velocity of 9 meters per second with zero acceleration. So zero acceleration, what does that mean? It means that your velocity time graph will look completely horizontal. Okay, there's no slope. So you're, you're just going to sustain the 9 meters per second. You're going at a constant rate. So for 10 seconds, it goes a bit like that. Okay, and next. So 25 to 55, traffic slows the car down uniformly to 6 meters per second. Okay, so for that long period of 30 seconds, the car is, slowed, is slowing down to 6. So first things first, I'm going to label a 6 meters per second in my graph. And then I'm going to plot a point at the end of segment C that corresponds to 6 meters per second. And because it slows down uniformly, it's just going to be a straight line going from here to there. And finally, so this one, probably the driver is just uh, releasing the gas. This one, he's actually proactively stepping on the brakes and the velocity drops to zero. So eventually the car grounds to a halt, grinds to a halt. 
Okay, so from 6 meters per second, you go back down to 0, and it, because it does it uniformly, it's just simply one straight line going from here to here. Okay, so this is your velocity time graph for this uh, case of motion, this scenario.